With this WMER 2 News update, I'm Kelly Swoop. Teen pop-up parties in East Baltimore are creating some problems for neighbors. Cell phone video from a frustrated viewer shows crowds of teens this past weekend spilling into residential blocks along Greenmont Avenue. This all happening after midnight with some of the teens lingering until 3 a.m. Neighbors tell WMER 2 News these pop-up block parties leave behind trash and disturb people trying to sleep. Why aren't your kids at home at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning? I mean, they're teenagers. They belong in the house. BPD says it was aware of the most recent pop-up block party and additional resources were in the area before and after this event. Well, Governor Hogan declared July as Disability Culture and Achievements Month. To commemorate it, he gave Paralympian Becca Myers a governor's citation Monday. Myers is blind and deaf and has competed all around the world. She holds the world record for the 400 individual medley for Paralympic swimming and has three golds and a silver medal from previous Olympics. Myers pulled out of the games this year because the Olympic Committee would not let her mother be her caregiver while she was at the Olympics. Currently, the Olympic Committee has one personal caregiver for all 34 Paralympic athletes. Every single one will need help at some point and they deserve to have help and one for 34 athletes it's not right it's inexcusable i have devoted my entire life to swimming it's who i am as a person and to make that decision was gut-wrenching governor hogan said he was proud of myers courage in making such a difficult decision by the way today is the 31st anniversary of the americans with disabilities well, act and I'm tracking a sunny day for your Tuesday. Temperatures are going to be a little warm, though. Uh, upper 70s as you head out of the door. Climbing into the 90s through the afternoon. Good mix of sun and clouds. Not as humid as Monday, but still above average. 95 degrees. Your afternoon high for us here in the city of Baltimore. 92 in Elkton and Bel Air. 94 over in Thurmont in Frederick. And as we head into your Wednesday, we're looking at slightly cooler numbers as a weak cold front slides through the region brings a straight chance of a shower and thunderstorm along the Mason Dixon line. Showers lingering for Thursday as a secondary cold front stronger sweeps through the region and drops those temperatures just in time for the weekend. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on our top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.